Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're here outside with tequila and whiskey because I want to talk a little bit about just this playlist and the videos that you can hope to see as you watch through this playlist. This playlist is focusing on the raising and training of livestock guardian dogs. Now, <laughs> Whiskey! Now, Whiskey is not a livestock guardian breed. He's a golden doodle. Tequila is a livestock guardian breed. She's a great Pyrenees. You've probably already watched some of her videos. Where did you go? You've probably already watched a few of her videos. And she and Whiskey adore each other and they love to play. But playing is not the point of this particular playlist. This is about training your livestock guardian breed, your livestock guardian dog. So some people claim livestock guardian dogs are untrainable. Now it is true that they're stubborn and intelligent. They really, really are. And they're huge. But they can be trained and they should be trained. First of all, they're big, big dogs. She's not full grown. She's five months old. When she is full grown, she's going to be gigantic. Okay, she'll be just a gigantic. Because of her size, if she has no training, she could hurt someone. She could hurt a person or she could hurt one of the animals entirely by accident. She wouldn't mean it, but it would happen. Now, it's also important to understand, though, that these are sensitive dogs. Livestock guardian breeds have been bred to be sensitive. Okay, they are. That's just their nature. So if you're harsh with your livestock guardian breed, you also could end up with a, uh, the opposite problem. You'll have a dog that doesn't do her job because she's afraid. She's a sensitive creature who needs a patience and understanding. So because of that, it's important to use positive training methods when you're dealing with your livestock guardian dog. Okay? So this playlist features a series of videos on why, how, and when to train your livestock guardian dogs. Yeah, she's playing with Moose Dash there. <laughs> it's fun to play with Moose Dash. <laughs> so, this so in this playlist, you're going to see a whole bunch of videos about bonding, about training, about when to train, how old they should be, that kind of thing. Okay? We're going to cover some obedience training. We're going to cover bonding, which is incredibly, incredibly important when you're talking about livestock guardian breeds. You do have to have a really good bond in order to effectively train your livestock guardian dog. She's playing with the cat. <laughs> she loves cats. She's chewing on a stick. So we're also going to talk about training your dog to be around livestock and around birds. Those are two different training methods, by the way. I can show you basically how to do it, and then I'll do more in-depth videos. In fact, I did a basic video already. Yeah, they like to play with the cat. Oh, the cat's bopping her on the nose. <laughs> That's funny. I find that funny. So I've already done a... A quick easy video about getting started with your dog uh, around the animals but there is actually quite a lot more to it and I will do more videos about that um, there's also a difference between training your livestock guardian to be around livestock like horses goats sheep cattle and training your dog to be around birds it, it's different because birds are kind of prey she's been very good but birds are kind of prey. Comes the doggies. <laughs> They're crazy. So most livestock guardian breeds do respond to the same basic training methods. Um, the most common livestock guardian breeds are your Great Pyrenees, obviously, like Tequila. Your Anatolian Shepherds, which are wonderful, affectionate dogs. Your Maremmas, which is... One of the most popular, <laughs> they're the Marema Sheepdog. I don't bark this close to me. I can't hear myself talk. <laughs> but uh, the Marema Sheepdogs are incredibly popular, not in my area. There's not a lot of Marema dogs here, but generally, Maremas are not hard to find. And then there's the Kangles. 
Kangles are pretty awesome <laughs> and they're pretty big and they do their job well. So you also have, those are your four basic breeds. There's a couple of others that I haven't mentioned, but you also have your crosses. So if you want the best of both worlds, sometimes you'll cross a Great Pyrenees and a Maremma or a Great, Great Pyrenees and a Kangal. It depends on what you're hoping to get out of it. So sometimes crosses work out really, really well when it comes to livestock guardian dogs. Remember, if you're looking for a working dog, you're not necessarily worrying about purebreds. You're more worrying about can they do the job. So ultimately, you want your livestock guardian breed, your livestock guardian dog, to be a partner, a companion, a guardian, and a protector. They are an excellent addition to your farm. And properly trained, they'll be an asset and a great friend. And frankly, you can use them. We all have predator problems, and they can ward off the predators. Even at her age, she's repelling the foxes. So they're not a bad thing to have on your farm. Just be ready to put in the time and effort to train them. A little bit of training goes a long way. That's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.